Um, th thanks to everybody so much for joining you. Uh, I just want to make a couple of quick comments and, and then I want to in introduce the governor for her comments as well. We, we are so proud that you were able to come today to this virtual dedication of the new Donnelly Williamson MD State Public Health Laboratory. Uh, it is a, a brand new laboratory, although maybe not as new as it was when we first started planning to do, uh, do this event. Uh, you know, the first uh, event was scheduled uh, in person for April of 2020 and um, uh, something else was going on then. I can't remember what it was, but uh, we've had to reschedule this uh, a few times, uh, but we wanted to, uh, to, to do this today. We, we are, are so proud of our facility. We're so proud to be able to dedicate this to Dr. Williamson. Uh, and so we are really glad that, that you joined us today. Um, our, our lab is so important to what we do in public health. Our, our lab does over a million and a half tests every year. I'm sure uh, many of you are aware that they've been working night and day with regards to COVID, uh, but they also do very, very many other things. They uh, support our public health functions in dealing with things like our newborn screening program with all of our STDs and HIV and tuberculosis work. They serve as a reference lab for many other healthcare providers in the state. They, they just do so many things, and I'm so grateful for uh, the leadership that we have at our, at our lab uh, with Dr. Sharon Messingale, uh, the director, the assistant director, Dr. Aretha Williams. We appreciate so much all they've done up to and including moving this lab over a three-week period in the middle of a pandemic uh, last year, which was pretty remarkable, and uh, our, our staff never missed a beat. We have the greatest uh, laboratorians in the world, and we're, we're so proud of them. So. Um, this morning, I, I'm just going to um, uh, introduce to you our, our special guest, uh, uh, Governor Kay Ivey. She's uh, very, uh, very gracious to join us today. We appreciate so much having her here. We uh, want to hear from her today. Uh, and then uh, afterwards, uh, after she speaks, I'll uh, recognize a few other uh, special guests and invitees and then introduce our uh, honoree of the day. So uh, if I can, please turn it over to uh, Governor Ivey. Well, good morning, everyone. And thank you, Dr. Harris, for that kind introduction. And thank you for your outstanding leadership of the Alabama Department of Public Health. It's a pleasure to join you all virtually today as we dedicate this beautiful state-of-the-art facility, appropriately named the Donald E. Williamson, MD, State Health Laboratory. Dr. Williamson served as Alabama's state health officer for 23 years, and he has had a lasting impact in promoting, protecting, and improving the health of Alabamians. As governor, my number one priority is protecting the health and safety of the good people that call this great state home. And as we've come to know over the course of the last two years or so, some of the most dangerous threats we face are not visible to the naked eye. This new facility will play a vital role in protecting Alabamians against a wide range of threats using laboratory solves. This laboratory, staffed by dedicated and professional laboratorians, enhances ADPH's ability to respond to disease outbreaks of the 21st century such as COVID-19, bioterrorism, and chemical terrorism. This facility will also support a wide range of ADPH's programs that are essential healthcare needs. Folks, investing in our state's long-term health is critical to ensure Alabama's best days are yet to come. Throughout the last two years, ADPH and our frontline healthcare workers have been the boots on the ground in providing exceptional care to our fellow Alabamians. No matter the circumstance, each of you went to work and continued to do your job to the best of your abilities and saved countless lives by doing so. I'm incredibly grateful for your dedicated service and I have no doubt this lab will be an excellent tool in safeguarding the health of our state. Thank you all for tuning in virtually today. May God continue to bless each of you and the great state of Alabama. Governor Ivey, thank you so much. We appreciate so much your leadership and all you do for our state. You know, we have really appreciated the partnership we've had with you over the course of the pandemic, especially 
Uh, and again, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. We, we really appreciate it. Um, I want to recognize a, a few other folks who are joining us today. You can see perhaps on the list of attendees, there are a number of other people that, that I, I certainly want to mention today uh, before we uh, introduce uh, Dr. Williamson to you. Uh, I, I do want to thank the, the Board of Directors for the Alabama Public Health Care Authority, who's helped to make this possible. We want to thank the County, the Otago County Commission and Elmore County Commission and the City of Prattville, uh, again, who have helped to make this possible. Uh, for for Jimothy, Jimmy and Dorothy uh, Sanford and Catherine Porter of Home Place Farms, we're very grateful for the relationship we've had working with you. Uh, with Roger Bates and Bruce McGowan of Han Arendal, thank you. Uh, to Dr. Tom Miller, a uh, previous state health officer who was able to put this entire project into motion. We're very grateful for, for the work that you have done and, and did at that time. Uh, and then to the State Committee of Public Health, our governing board at ADPH, thank you so much for leadership of this organization uh, that's helped to make this possible. Now, I, I want to recognize our, our project completion team, uh, Cadell Construction, uh, Ellis Architects, also the Robbins and Morton Group, especially Richard Nelson, uh, HDR Incorporated and Working Buildings, uh, LLC. Uh, thanks to all of you for the, the work you've done in, in building this beautiful state-of-the-art facility. Uh, and then we have some other special invitees as well. Um, we, we invited our, our legislators from this area where the lab is located, uh, State Senator Clyde Chambliss, State Representative Will Dismix. Uh, we uh, hope they've been able to join us today. Uh, and a number of other uh, folks as well. Uh, some of these were uh, legislators that we invited at the time we originally planned to dedicate this lab. But I don't want to forget former U.S. Representative Martha Roby, former U.S. Senator Doug Jones, uh, who were invited to join us today. Uh, also, U.S. Senator Richard Shelby, U.S. Senator Tommy Tuberville, and uh, U.S. Representative Barry Moore. Uh, finally, I, I want to remember uh, to uh, recognize uh, Annette Funderburg, uh, Chair of the Prattville Area Chamber of Commerce, and Kyle Glover and Eric Morgan on the Economic Development Committee there, and Mayor Bill Gillespie uh, of Prattville. Um, Finally, I, I think Dr. Miller was able to join us today. We had an invitation today also for Dr. Claude Earl Fox. Uh, we had thought this would be the first time there were ever three former health officers together in the same place. It's uh, really unusual. They, they tend to die with their boots on. So we, we thought we would have them all together, uh, but maybe we'll get to do that soon. Um, but I, I do want to invite you all to come out and see the facility as soon as we're able to do that. We absolutely will plan to do something in person uh, and publicize that. And, and, and in particular, uh, we want to do that uh, in honor of Dr. Williamson. It, it's truly my pleasure to be able to introduce Don to you today. Uh, Don is, is, a, is a good friend, but, but is also a person I just admire very, very much. Um, as the governor mentioned, uh, Dr. Williamson had over 29 years in public health, over 23 years uh, as, as state health officer. Uh, that just boggles my mind. A year as a state health officer is some kind of dog years. And so I don't know how anybody could have lasted uh, that long. But he, he has such a long list of accomplishments. Just the, the first ones that come to mind, Dr. Williamson actually established the Alabama Public Health Care Authority, which is the basis for us being able to build this lab today and also the basis for maintaining public health infrastructure uh, throughout our entire state. Uh, if not for that, uh, we, we would be in such a dire situation. So we, we are still grateful uh, for, the, for that work that Dr. Williamson did. Dr. Williamson was able to set up the first children's health insurance program in the United States. And, and to this day, still the only CHIP program uh, that resides fully in public health. And, and that's a, been a tremendous success. It's a tremendous win for the families and children in Alabama. And we're very, very grateful for that. And Dr. Williamson was able to take on the Medicaid task force during the previous administration, which was a, a Herculean task uh, and one that, that guided that agency through a, a really, really a significant transition. And we, we just want to thank you for all your service to public health. You, you know, Don, you're, you're somebody that's just known for uh, being compassionate, for having integrity, uh, for caring about other people. I, I would think the the, the compliment that comes to my mind is you're just someone who has a true heart for public health, and I don't really have a higher compliment than that. Um, it is an honor uh, to have, have worked with you and continue to work with you, and we're very proud uh, that this uh, facility can be named after you. And so without further ado, let me introduce uh, the honoree and the namesake of the new Donnelly Williamson MD Public Health Laboratory. Words can never express my gratitude for this very special recognition. I'd like to thank the state committee 
Governor Ivey, Dr. Harris, and the Alabama Public Health Care Authority for this honor. I must begin by acknowledging that I've been blessed by God beyond measure in both my personal and professional life. Personally, I was blessed with parents who provided a safe and stable home and instilled in me the value of education. For 45 years, I've been married to the love of my life, Anita, who's been there to support and help me through all of life's challenges. Our life has been enriched by our exceptional son, Jonathan, and his wonderful wife, Caitlin, and they've given us the smartest and cutest two-year-old grandson in the world, Everett. And I confess, I am absolutely not biased in that opinion. Professionally, I owe so much to so many people that I won't try to name them individually. I learned long ago that almost nothing is ever accomplished by an individual, but rather when people work together. First, let me thank the members of the State Committee of Public Health who gave me the unique honor to serve as State Health Officer and supported me in that role for almost 23 years. Not only were they my bosses, but many of them have become my dearest lifelong friends. I'll be forever grateful for your support and your friendship. Next, I wanna express my profound gratitude and appreciation to the thousands of public health employees with whom I had the privilege to work Anything that we accomplished during my tenure was due to your hard work, whether it was building county health departments, improving child and immunization rates, or implementing the child health insurance program. Your efforts and your support made me a better health officer. Finally, I wanna thank the board, the member hospitals, and the staff of the Alabama Hospital Association. I'm certainly in a position that I would have never imagined a decade ago. But you've given me the opportunity to remain involved in healthcare issues about which I care deeply. The last two years with COVID have certainly been challenging for our members. And I appreciate the ability you have provided me to participate in our response to this pandemic. In closing, this lab completes a dream that began almost a quarter century ago to replace antiquated buildings with facilities designed for the 21st century. I only regret that it took so long to get this one completed. But my special thanks to Tom Miller and to Dr. Harris, who then picked up the project after I left, did the heavy lifting and completed it. To me, this new lab is not only serves as a building to provide services, it is a symbol of public health's commitment to meeting the health needs of our state for generations to come. The health department's response to the ongoing COVID pandemic demonstrates that commitment. As the COVID situation improves, I look forward to visiting the lab and seeing the amazing work being done there. Again, thank you for this unique honor. It is certainly one of the moments in my professional life I will cherish and remember forever. God bless you, and may he continue to bless the Alabama Department of Public Health. Thank you. Dr. Williamson, thank you so much. Uh, we, we really appreciate that. And again, we're just so, so honored that we could dedicate this facility to you. Thank you for your service and your continuing service. We, because we're uh, doing this uh, today virtually and don't have the opportunity to gather together, we actually have prepared a really brief video. It's only about three minutes long, just to show you some highlights of the facility to give you a sense of, of how it looks. Uh, and so I'm gonna turn that over to our team now and we'll begin the video.
it's a real pleasure to, to have you on today. Uh, again, congratulations to you, Dr. Williams, and thank you for everything. Uh, we will plan something again in person as soon as the world allows us to do that. And I hope you all have a, a good day and a good rest of the week. Goodbye. Thank you.